we are going to discuss about the properties of Fourier transform. Before going to discuss the properties, first keep the definitions of Fourier transform, Fourier sine transform and Fourier cosine transform in mind. Fourier transform for the function f of x is denoted by capital F of f of x. How to read this means? Fourier transform of f of x equal to integral minus infinity to infinity e power i s x f of x dx. It is also denoted with the symbol capital F of x. It is a Fourier transform to the function f of x. Now, Fourier sine transform means capital F of f of x in particular sign. So, Fourier sine transform of f of x is defined as integral 0 to infinity sin s x f of x dx. It is also denoted with Fourier sine transform of the function f of x that is capital F s of s. Now, Fourier cosine transform to the function f of x equal to 0 to infinity cos s x f of x dx. Fourier cosine transform. Keep these three definitions in mind. Now, we start doing the properties. The first property is already we studied Laplace transforms. There we studied properties, linear property, change of scale property, shifting property, derivative properties like that. Here also we have properties to the Fourier transform. So linear property means if Fourier transform of the function f of x equal to capital F of x and Fourier transform to the function g of x equal to g of x then Fourier transform of a into f of x plus b into g of x equal to capital A sorry a into Fourier transform of the function f of x plus b into Fourier transform of the function g of x. We denote this with the capital F of s b into this as g of s. So, if for f of x and g of x Fourier transforms exist, then we have to show a Fourier transform of a f of x plus b g of x equal to a into Fourier transform of the function f of x plus b into Fourier transform of function g of x. So, whatever the topic, linear property states that the operator, here the operator is a Fourier transform operator that is capital F. Affects only the function, not on the constant. That is capital F we have to apply on the function, not on the constant. And we will get capital F to both the expressions separated by sum. The proof to this one is if condition means in any statement this is the given information that is a Fourier transform to the function f of x and g of x exists. So given Fourier transform of f of x equal to integral minus infinity to infinity e power i s x f of x dx. We are writing this as capital F of x. Fourier transform of g of x equal to integral minus infinity to infinity e power i s x g of x dx. We note this as g of x. We have to prove Fourier transform of this equivalent to RHS part. So consider LHS part that is a Fourier transform of a f of x plus b g of x equal to integral minus infinity to infinity e power i s x under the function you have a f of x plus b g of x dx it is equal to here operator is integral operator integral operator also satisfies linear property 
so according to the linear property of integral operator you will get e power i s x a f of x a constant so we write down outside of the integral plus b integral minus infinity to infinity e power i s x it is equal to a into integral from this one denoted as f of s plus b into this is denoted as g of s this is linear property f of a f of x plus b into g of x the second property is change of scale property its statement is if fourier transform of f of x equal to f of s how to read this means fourier transform of the function f of x equal to f of s then fourier transform of f of a x equal to 1 by a capital f of s by a where a greater than 0 here the given information is fourier transform of f of x is given as f of s we have to get fourier transform of f of a x equal to 1 by a f of s by a so given that fourier transform of f of x equal to integral minus infinity to infinity e power i s x f of x dx it is also denoted with f of s now consider fourier transform of f of a x equal to integral minus infinity to infinity e power i s x in place of the function f of a x dx to evaluate this integral take the substitution that is put a x equal to t from this x equal to t by a on differentiation dx equal to 1 by a dt here integration with respect to x given x limits are from minus infinity to infinity so when x equal to minus infinity we will get t becomes minus infinity when x is infinity you will get t infinity so limits doesn't alter minus infinity to infinity e power i s x means here t by a f of a x a x means t dx means 1 by a dt it is equal to 1 by a integral minus infinity to infinity e power i s by a t f of t dt once you compare this integral with the basic definition limits infinity to infinity e power i s x f of x dx is denoted as capital f of s depending upon this x f of x dx t f of t dt limits minus infinity to infinity so this integral is denoted as capital f of s by a and 1 by a capital f of s by a therefore capital f of fourier transform of f of a x equal to 1 by a capital f of s by a third property is shifting property its a statement is if fourier transform of the function f of x exists that is a capital f of s then fourier transform of f of x minus a equal to e power i s a f of s So solution to this property is given that 
Fourier transform of f of x equal to integral minus infinity to infinity e power i s x f of x dx that is capital F of x. It is the given information. If condition means given information. By using this we have to get Fourier transform of f of x minus a equal to e power i s a f of x. So now to find Fourier transform of f of x minus a it is equal to according to the above definition e power i s x in place of the function x minus a dx. In order to evaluate this integral go for substitution. So put x minus a equal to t from this x equal to t plus a differentiate with respect to t you will get dx equal to dt given x limits are from minus infinity to infinity so when x equal to minus infinity in place of x substitute minus infinity you will get t as minus infinity x equal to infinity you will get t becomes infinity therefore t limits are from minus infinity to infinity so the given integral turns to according to our substitutions Fourier transform of f of x minus a equal to minus infinity to infinity e power i s x means t plus a f of x minus a that is t dx means dt equal to minus infinity to infinity now our new variable is t so here e power i s a e power i s t f of t dt now compare the given definition and this one i s x f of x dx this is Fourier transform of f of x ist f of t dt this is also Fourier transform of the function f of t it is also denoted with f of s so Fourier transform of f of x minus a equal to a power isa f of s this is shifting property and the fourth one is modulation property Modulation property statement is given by if Fourier transform of the function f of x equal to f of s then Fourier transform of f of x cos ax equal to half of f of s plus a plus f of s minus a its a solution is given that Fourier transform of f of x equal to integral minus infinity to infinity e power i s x f of x dx we denote this as f of s we have to prove Fourier transform of f of x cos a x equal to half of f of s plus a plus f of s minus a. So consider the left part. Consider Fourier transform of f of x cos a x 